All right, Tubas. Uh, well, basically, uh, I had some people offer to help. Well, one person offered help. He's a he's a machinist, and uh, he said if I need him to make me make me something, that he could. But I don't think there's any way you can fix this thing. It's missing a couple of the bearings. It's got uh, what do you call them? Little pin needle bearings inside there. It's missing a couple of them. So I think this bearing was letting go, and that's what caused this to crack. Perhaps one of the bearings fell out, and got caught between the teeth. I'm not sure. But so basically, I want to see if I can get this out. This is weird how they made this thing. This outer gear is supporting the bearing. But it spins on the clutch belt. See that? This is the weirdest thing ever. It's weird how they made this thing. So I just want to see if I can get this bearing out of there. Because if I can put a new bearing in there, I could cut this gear off. And I'd still have this gear. But I'm not sure if that would even work. Because I don't understand why this freewheels. I have no idea why that freewheels like that. But I want to see if I can get this bearing out. But I don't think it's going to come out. I, I think this is a pressed in one time only bearing. So I think this whole thing's junk. Basically, too, is but I figure I'm going to pound this thing with a hammer. I'm going to turn the camera on, right? If you didn't film it, it didn't happen. So I always tell people. <laughs> see if we can. I got a couple of. Uh... Well, these suckers here. I want to get that bearing out of there. Perhaps just this big one. I don't think, I don't think this cap's made to come out. I think the bearing's pressed in there, and that's it. I don't think this is going to do anything, but I'm going to try. Yeah, I ain't got anything. That bearing's not made to come out that way. It's a one and only bearing. It looks like it might be a one-way bearing. To be honest with you, I think it's a one-way bearing. But I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. This transmission's weird. So since I really can't fix this, I don't plan on fixing this. I don't think I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a Savage transmission, a modern one, a two-speed. I'm going to put a two-speed in here, and I'm going to try to put this bell on a Savage transmission. I don't know if that's going to work. i got to take this apart and see how it fits on there. It might not even be possible, but I'm going to try if I can. If not, then we'll just we'll go with a Savage transmission with a, with a, um, a slipper clutch. Like a normal Savage would have. And we'll use a Savage transmission on the Sun Genesis. Because $165 for a transmission is just more than I could spend. Right now I can't spend anything. I just can't get the money. So this is going on the shelf for a while. Because I can't, I can't spend money on this right now. I get real life stuff going on. My real life car. And stuff so. Oh and there's other stuff in life that I want. And. This is just going to have to wait. You know, what you going to do? It just is what it is. I don't see how I can fix this. I don't, I can't find another one. So there's really nothing I can do. I can't, I don't know. I'm just, nothing I can do. I'm out of words, guys. I'm just out of words. I want to fix it, but I can't. So, I don't know. This gear rides on this. And this is how it was made to work. I don't see why this has a bearing on it. I think it would equal themselves out. But, don't know. But that's how that's supposed to work. But this is broken, so it ain't working, right? The gears all look fine. I really just need this one, but... I can't find any parts for this thing. I can find a brand new transmission, but it's $165. You know, I just way out of my budget right now. I can't afford it. I got, I got a bell. I'm waiting for a, a clutch bell to replace the one that broke on the Savage. And if it comes in tomorrow, it comes in tomorrow. If not, then Monday. But that's the uh, that's, uh, that's life for you, right? So yeah, this transmission is toast. And I don't really think it's a very good transmission. I don't really like the way they 
made this. This was bound to fail, in my opinion. But, hey, whatever, you know, maybe it had a million miles on it. I don't know. I can say the drive cups are pretty well worn out on the transmission. So, you know, it's, it's worn. It's for sure. And I'm sure this bearing wore out. But it is what it is. For a Savage transmission, you can get past for them. If I buy that new transmission, that's once and done. You know, if it breaks again, that's it. I'm out of luck. And that's a lot of money for me to come up with. So I just can't afford it. So it ain't happening. You guys got any ideas where you can find a trans used transmission? That's what I need is a used one so I can get parts out of to fix this. But... <laughs> All right, Tubers, well, it's together. Except for the transmission, of course. This truck is making me sad. So I'm going to put it on the shelf for a while. I'm going to think on it. Because, uh, look at that. You see how that's made to spin there like that? This is weird. You look inside there, and it's like a bearing and a bearing and a bearing. What is that? This is inside the transmission, this goes. This is just weird, the way this transmission works. This is the other half, and you'd think that they'd all be on the outside. Oh, no, no, we gotta put some on the inside, too. Right? And I think that's a one-way bearing. You know, I, I, I can't think of a way of fixing this thing, so I think I'm gonna modify a Savage transmission to fit it. But it just ain't gonna happen right now, because I'm kinda broke right now. I got real-life things to pay for, you know? The budget's just not there. And I'm having more fun with the Savage anyways. So, well, I, the pots came in for the Savage. So let me put this thing up on the shelf, and then we are going to break out the Savage. Well, it's getting ready to go on the shelf. I just wanted to stop and say thank you to RC Wallet, uh, Wallet Vacuum. Uh, it's a funny name for a channel, but it's, this hobby is true. It will suck your wallet dry. I wanted to thank him for offering to uh, help me with this. I just don't know how that can be fixed. I don't know if it'll work without that gear right there. And the pot that's broken is right inside the middle. So it would have to come off the bell. And something would have to be made. I don't know. And I'm not even sure if that's a one-way bearing. If it is a one-way bearing, which way is it supposed to spin one way? I just don't know none of these factors. I just know if I could get the new part, I could change it. But I don't have a new, can't get a new part. So um, think, uh, I think a Savage transmission would just be a lot easier to work with. So that's why I was going that route. It's because it would be easier. I, this thing looks like an alien to me, you know. So she's going back on the shelf. And I just wanted to say thank you for offering your help. And everyone else. She's going on the shelf. Sad but true. You all stay confident but humble. Peace. Alright, too, was I figure I'd add in there that uh, I know how this transmission works. I don't know what I do with the other piece of this. But that's not important. This goes right in here, right? When the clutch engages, it says a one way bearing. So it can go one way but not the other, just so this gear can overpower it when the clutch kicks in. That's why there's a one way bearing. They always got one way bearing so one gear can overpower the other. That's how you can tell, you know, why would there be a one way bearing? It must be because of that. So this is the third gear that was inside the transmission there. So that's why and this third gear that broke. So, is there a, a, a second chance for this transmission? I don't think so. Unless uh, the RC wallet vacuum thinks he can uh, make something to fix that. But, uh, you know, the piece that's cracked is cracked all the way in around where that bearing goes. So you'd have to punch out this whole piece here. This will punch out of there. I don't know what will be left once you punch it out, but that will punch out of there. It looks like there's a little clip in there. It should come out. It should be able to punch that out. Then you'd have to make a centerpiece. I guess without the gears, you know, I don't, I don't think you can make these gears. Well, I guess maybe you could, but I don't really think it's feasible. Me getting this thing to work again properly is probably a long shot. So maybe it's not even worth it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I can get a Savage transmission to fit in there. 
and if I get a top load in Savage Transmission, I'd be able to take the three clutches out and adjust them real easy versus this nightmare. I mean, I, the transmission's pretty beefy, but this is a nightmare, and I just don't like this whole idea here. This right here, it just makes me go, huh? Why? You know? I don't know. Seems silly to me. It has two more clutches on the outside, and then it has two more on the engine. It's like, how many clutches do you need? Well, well yeah, they're sort of clutches. They go off momentum. You know, and it's hard to get them all to work correctly when they're all in different places like that. This is odd. This is an odd transmission. I think it'd be a lot easier just to put a Savage transmission in it and modify it to work. So I don't know, uh, RC Wallet Vacuum. What do you think? You think that's even feasible to try to make that? I could send it to you in the whole transmission. Here's the piece that goes in it. This is, you know, it goes on there. Like so. Right? And it's got another gear over here. It goes on, yay, like that. And the shifter fork goes in between. The shifter fork goes on and in between that. And it shifts in and out of these two gears. Selecting forward and reverse. And then this is your second and third gear right here. Is what this is. So this being the bigger gear, that would be third. And this would be the second gear, which is the main gear. It's just weird how they made that like that. I don't know. I don't know what to make of that thing. I don't know what to do with it. I am not a machinist. I'm a body man. I make things look pretty. I don't know how to... I don't know. This is a little bit beyond me. It might be beyond uh, repair worthwhile as well. I don't know. So I'll leave it up to RC Wallet Vacuum if he thinks it's repairable. I can't tell. I don't think so. But I don't know. I... I could be wrong too. So you all stay confident but humble and uh, we'll be breaking out the Savage because I gotta put that flywheel and clutch bell on the Savage. <laughs>